I'm Steve Perry, and if you're going to write Java code, you need a development environment. In this video, I'll show you how to download and install Eclipse, and how to create a simple project and run the code in the Eclipse IDE. Before you follow along with the video, make sure you've installed the JDK on your computer. You can find instructions specific to Windows, Mac OS, and Linux in the tutorial. And a link to the tutorial is in the video description below. Let's get started. The Eclipse installer makes installing Eclipse super easy and uses a self-extracting download specific to your platform. First, you have to install the Eclipse installer. You can find the installer at eclipse.org forward slash downloads forward slash packages forward slash installer. Select the installer bundle for your platform. Once it's downloaded to your computer, run the self-extracting program for the installer itself. Choose Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Choose the installation path to your JDK if it's not shown. I'll select the latest Java 11 JDK I have on my computer. Make a note of the installation folder so you can use it to start Eclipse later. Finally, click Install. Now exit the installer. Don't run the launcher. Instead, navigate to the installation folder and you'll see the Eclipse IDE program. Double click to launch it. Source files for a program are grouped together into projects and workspaces are a way to group your projects together. Don't worry about that for now, just accept the default workspace that comes up. First, verify that Eclipse is pointing to the correct JDK. Go to Preferences, Java, Install JREs. Verify that the JDK that you selected during the installation is in fact what Eclipse is configured to use. Eclipse uses perspectives to let you work with projects in different ways. The default perspective is Java and is the one you'll use the most often. A perspective is comprised of views like Package Explorer and Outline, which are ways to look at your project within a perspective. Another helpful perspective is called Debug, and you can switch to it under Window, Perspective, Open Perspective, Debug. Notice the views change to debug-related activities like Console and Variables. To show any view you want, regardless of the current perspective, go to Window, Show View, Other. Select the view you want, and it will be added to that perspective. I'll switch back to the Java perspective for the rest of this video. To create a new Java project, go to File, New, Java Project. Give the project a name like Hello World. Click Finish. Tell the new project wizard to create a module called Hello World in all lowercase. Next, right-click on the SRC folder in Package Explorer and choose New Package and call it com.jstephenperry.learn.java. Now, right-click on the package you just created and choose New Class. Call it Hello World in Mixed Case and tell Eclipse you want to create a main method stub. Click Finish to create the class.
and save the file. This line of code tells the program to output the string hello world to the console. Right click on your hello world class in the package explorer view and choose run as Java application. The Java compiler compiles your class into bytecode and runs it on your computer. In the console you see the string hello world. That was a quick look at how to install the Eclipse IDE and how to use it to run a simple program. In future videos, you'll use Eclipse more and build on what you learned here. If you want to learn more about Eclipse, be sure to check out the video description where you'll find links to Eclipse documentation. That's all for now. I'm Steve Perry. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.